RCB, well today actually, remember the lights went off, the game went late, it was hot, <laughs> so we're at half past midnight almost now, but look how awake we are, well, that's the beauty of some of these games, that they just, they just wake you right up, no amount of yeah. carbohydrate coma could keep us asleep. And we've got a very good makeup artist in Pradeep. That's right. Yeah, he just comes on with his little... Uh... <laughs> brushes and paints a few things. I don't know what he's painted on my face. He could paint anything. Thinks, I'll have a look. He thinks, he thinks Michael's face is a canvas. Yeah, and he comes with his painting away. I mean, he's, just, he's always there. I'm surprised he's not behind here somewhere. He's Where just going to pop out some yeah. he's, he's Michelangelo. He has a canvas. He just keeps painting my face. Yeah. Off. He's, he's right there. Mine, of course, requires a little bit of chisel and hammer. He's just going to yeah. wake him up, wake him up. Well, today you didn't need to because this was one of the best games of green ball yes. cricket I've ever seen. <laughs> what's, what's it did go, it did go very green. What happened there? Did, oh, they, did they paint the grass green somewhere? The, just to make it look bit better. Of spray. They do that sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it was a bit of the green goblin. Like, why is he bowling with the green goblin, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so that uh, sort the, of wraps the, it up for... The other big plus was Kyron Pollard, though. When you go to Delhi on that small ground, Kyron Pollard bats five overs. He's changing the game. Mm -hmm. in form. So that's a big plus for, for Mumbai. They just got to sort that bowler. I think Markand is just tipped the curve. They need yeah. to sort that bowler. Yeah. Uh, Pollard, uh, also Pollard's wife has come back to uh, things. So, you know, some good luck. In India, they say Lakshmi Gharai. Lakshmi is the goddess of... Uh, did did she go away? Did she, in she, had, she had gone away. She's back now. Get, oh, so what happened to Aaron Finch's wife? She should be coming. She, sh she should come as well. Yeah. Uh, mm, He's just been hungover from the wedding. Uh, Listen, mm. after my wedding, I think I was hungover for like, what, three months or something. <laughs> that really was. Michael, you too. Must have been hungover for a couple of weeks at least, right? At least a couple of years. So just, yeah. <laughs> Still on, is it? <laughs> Still on. Well, the hangover of this loss for uh, Kings XI Punjab, well, the hangover of the previous few losses as well, they've just not been able to get over that break. No. And they've just been loss after loss. And for the Mumbai Indians, there's uh, not going to be any party tonight because they are going to be focusing uh, on the game against the Delhi Daredevils on the weekend and say, let's get a 14 points, let's get a safety, let's qualify. We've done this before, we can do it again. And they like doing that. They really like pushing it. And Kings XI are up against CSK at Pune. So that's a tough one for them and especially after a string of losses. Well, let's talk about tomorrow's game now because that's very important. That's very important especially for RCB fans. It's also important uh, this game was important for RCB fans as well. They were pretty much cheering uh, am I winning today because they didn't want Kings 11 to run away uh, with a win. That would have been trouble for them. So now they're gunning for 14. Big game tomorrow. They're playing against Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, the the pitch is obviously going to be really important. Which of the Chinnaswamy surfaces is going to show up tomorrow? The one that you scored 200 on. Yeah, is it? Without For sure. That's the they way to beat Sunrisers. Yeah. You just scored 200 against them and hope to get a wicket or two early. Their backs to the wall. Manish Pandey is not in form. They're not a big 180, 200 side. Hmm. You want to get you want to get a 200 surface and then well, unleash Kohli AB. Yeah. Uh, Michael, the last two games, uh, the SR is bowling has given away 180, right? Which is not something they've been doing. I mean, we've obviously been singing praises and poems and <laughs> hymns about uh, the SRH bowling we have, and. Well, it's just, you know, it's got a dip, it's a circle. Yeah, yeah I think mean, that has happened to them. Yeah, the last game they came up against CSK, who, who seemed to be the team that probably bat best against that uh, terrific mm. bowling attack. Um, you know, you know what Kane Williams will bring tomorrow night. He'll bring cleverness, he'll bring uh, a smartness. They're always really on it in the field. Mm. Um, you know, as Arsha said, if you can get Darwin out early, he's in tremendous form. And you can get Williamson, although you kind of lock Williamson in, in for 50, because that's generally what he does, he gets yeah. a 50. <laughs> so you kind of put in the budget, right, Williamson, I'll get a 50, let's try and play against them with that 50. Yeah. So you know the 50 already, <laughs> off about 35 balls, that's the norm. Um, you know, the RCB team look like they're on a bit of a roll to me. Mm -hmm. Those two legends of the game, they, they, they've just got that, that, that look in their eye yeah. that they know. They know now, they'll be in Bangalore now going, win the last two games, they'll be in those qualifiers, I'm pretty sure about that. They've tasted a bit of blood on their palate, haven't they? They're the red team. They are, they are on fire. I don't know why I feel like I'm doing a Hollywood film promo voiceover. They are on fire, the two legends. Let's look at the teams and see if there's any changes that you would uh, make to them. Let's look at the RCB team. There you go. The fire the RCB from team. your, um, your you, you've blown a hole in your jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have. You the know, youth I, are wearing ripped jeans, Michael. I'll tell you a little about the youth a little later. But yeah. first, of course, let's look at the team led by our Indian youthful Virat Kohli. Uh, would you make any changes to this team uh, playing in Bangalore tomorrow?
one, I don't know what Sarfraz is doing in that team. Yeah. But who do you play instead of Sarfraz? They can find Manan. someone instead of, instead of Sarfraz, yeah. There's only but, one. but what has happened with, with Moin Ali coming in, the batting goes down to number seven. Hmm. If you've got 10, 12 balls, Tim Saudi is perfectly fine to come hmm. and bat there. And you've got six proper bowling options now. So I, I think this is now a better side than the one they started with. When, so I was really surprised at the start of the, the tournament that they, they didn't use Moin Ali. Yeah. Now, Moin's a very, very dangerous cricketer. His bowling's very good. Uh, he'll have bad days like anyone will do, but his batting's, you're never quite sure what's going to arrive. But he's so know. dangerous, he feels pretty well. They picked Corey Anderson. And no. he hadn't bowled. So they picked, they picked Corey Anderson to bowl four overs. Who hadn't bowled in a year. Yeah, he hadn't bowled in a year. So they went straight. Corey Anderson was a replacement player who came straight into the 11, mm. while the original picks were still, were still in there. Corey came in as a replacement player and he was, he was out of form. He wasn't delivering, so there's two or three games gone there. Then Colin de Grandom went in at number six mm. and as a bowler, there was another game gone there. I think this is... The I'll be interested, I should see if, if Vera opens. He mm. obviously opens in the last game, they were chasing, what, 88? Yeah. Fancy just knocking him off quickly, or is, was that the plan to, to get the net run rate, or is the plan to put Moen at the top, which they did against Delhi? You know, that's a little play that they can. So if Moen goes at the top, that batting order still is very, yeah. very deep. So they've got a couple of little combinations that they can play at the top of the order. The advantage of Sarfraz is they're a ten-man team now. Yeah. So they can just let Sarfraz float, or they can tell Manan Vora, you come in as as a floater, and you don't have to do an innings building job or whatever. We are, we're a team of ten. You go and you go and just play your shots. Yeah, or open him with Parthiv and then Virat still comes at three. At three, that puts, yeah, yeah. unless unless you want to open with Moin Ali, but Moin is going to bat the same wherever he, wherever he yeah, bats. He just swings. Yeah. He's, just, he's going to swing. So. Interesting. Let's have a look at uh, the SRH uh, 11 from the previous game and see if they would make any uh, changes in tomorrow's game versus RCB. Uh, this, of course, is happening at the Chinnaswamy and there you go. You're looking at that team and you're saying, well, you know, I mean, they have qualified. Yes, they're sitting on top of the table. They are going to play on Tuesday in Mumbai in the first qualifier. But that doesn't matter. You want to go into that in, in form and winning. Maybe look at Yusuf coming back for Huda. Mm -hmm. Though I, I quite like Huda. He's, he's, if, you, if, you yeah. want, if you want 20 of the last 10 balls, he's capable of delivering that to you. Yeah. I don't know what they'll do with Shivats Goswami and if, if Ridhiman Saha is fit again. Because I think Goswami is probably the more effective batsman in this form of the game. But they'll probably go back mm -hmm. to, uh, to Saha. Uh, they, they desperately want Bhuvneshwar back in form. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know if if one of the two, because Siddharth called it at two bad games, I don't know if they want to look at Basil Thampi mm. because they're, they've qualified anyway. So, But maybe tinkering, otherwise that, that's a side there. They'll probably stay with the side, but they'll want some return from Alex Howes at the yes. top of the order. Yeah. You know, but if, if they do that 200 kind of pitch, he'll love betting on yeah, it. Yeah, he'll certainly play, but they'll, they'll want a return now. You know, they've given him, you know, he didn't start at the beginning of the tournament. He's, I don't know how many games he's played on the trot, but he's played a number now. Mm. You know, once you've got used to these pitches, they're all, oh, there's one that's a little bit better, and they're all pretty similar. You know, you'd want to return from European batsmen. It's the best time to bat. You know, there's lots of players. We've seen KL Rahul tonight, played beautifully. Uh, so I think uh, Kane Williamson and Tom Mood will be looking at Alex Hale saying, come on. Come on, then. Give us a bit of return. <laughs>